I'm super excited because I just realized I can have a smoothie. I haven't had a smoothie in so long and I used to have them every day. The reason why I'm so, why I haven't had one for a long time is because when I was on the low FODMAP portion of my um, treatment, I couldn't have that much fruit. I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'm gonna make a smoothie and it's going to be delicious. Really like the Smart Harvest organic fruit and vegetable smoothie blend that I get at Costco. When I have more energy, I'm, it's, I have no problem just getting vegetables. Baby spinach is my favorite because it doesn't have a lot of flavor, um, but I know I'm getting a lot of good greens. And so normally I would buy a big thing of that and then I would just have a bunch of frozen berries, but um, everywhere that I can shave down effort. I know it doesn't seem like much, but that's one place that I can shave down effort. So now I use these little packets and um, I, but I do still add some, uh, some stuff to it. So these blends have cherries, black mulberries, diced figs, diced apricots, kale, and pomegranate. Protein's a big issue, so I need to add some. God, these still look sort of vaguely testicular, don't they? Just like that. Uh, okay. Trader Joe's has a lovely organic hemp powder, protein powder. Uh, I've only ever tried the chocolate flavored because I know I pretty much never like vanilla flavored things. It just has hemp protein, um, organic palm sugar, and organic cocoa powder. And so this is actually really pretty. This really doesn't have anything in it that's bad for me. The palm sugar is, um, well, okay, so that's not ideal, uh, but it's better than, you know, regular processed cane sugar. So I put a couple scoops of this in. It does add a little bit of a grainy flavor, but I don't care because it's chocolate. When you're eating in a way that is all about saving your life, you're willing to go, you know, put up with a little bit of you know, a grainy consistency that you don't love. You know, everything doesn't have to have the perfect mouth feel and the perfect flavor and <clears throat> you just need to freaking get the nutrients in your body and get over it. Oh, I don't like that it tastes like. Fuck you. Grow up. You gotta take care of yourself and once in a while it doesn't taste delicious. So, there's a bit of a rent. The thing is though, it takes so much energy. And so I've gotta look for ways to make it easier and when possible do it a little bit less often so I can rest more or do something else. That is why leftovers and um, easy throw together meals um, are key. You know what I have for breakfast today? Meat sauce and spaghetti squash. And it had fat, fiber, protein, you know, veggies, everything I need in it. I also just gotta let go of what's breakfast because I didn't feel like eggs and sausage. I'm still not doing grains and so I can't have pancakes or bread or toast or, you know, whatever. Like, oh, no, just get this up for breakfast. Why not? Any, anything is for breakfast. You can have Brenner, so you can have breakfast. All right, let's blend this motherfucker. Ah! I might add some more cacao powder. Cacao! Definitely still too chunky. We need to do it longer. I found my ch 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 chia. I'm gonna add some of that. Oh wait, it makes it kind of. But um, these are also very filling. Of course, only get organic. You don't get the shit that you grow on a fucking thingy majobber. And so I blend the fuck out of them so that they're more powdery and then add them to my smoothies. But since I didn't do that first, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. And honestly, because of the protein powder and the chia seeds and you know, there's a solid handful of greens, um, at least half a cup of berries, you know, that's actually quite a bit of food. You know, now it's all blended down into just this much. Here, let's taste, taste, taste. Every once in a while, there'll still be a little bit of kale all together. Kale doesn't cut up very well. That's the other reason I prefer spinach over kale. But it's delicious. It's still chocolatey. 
and the berries um, give it plenty of sweetness. If you feel you need quite a bit of sweetness in something to enjoy it, that changes so drastically when you um, cut out sugar. And uh, I know that the idea of cutting out sugar seems like an absolute horror. Because so much of what you eat has added sugar plus any treats. I mean, it, if you really stop to think about how much sugar you ingest, it would blow your freaking mind. But as soon as you as soon as you go off of it and you go through the withdrawals because it is addict it is addictive and it is it does affect your body in the same way as drugs. So really think about that. You are thoughtfully and consistently taking in something that your body sees as a really addictive substance. So is that really something you want a lot of? But once you go through withdrawals and get off of it, um, your your palate changes drastically, and the flavor, the sweetness in real food, will blow your mind. Like, have you ever really tasted a raw almond, a raw organic almond? They are so sweet, and I had no idea that they were until I gave up sugar. Um, my daughter still has some sugar, um, uh, definitely way less than the average uh, American and definitely less than the average teen. Uh, she doesn't think they taste sweet to her. Uh, Mahoney doesn't think they taste sweet to him either. So I know that that has a lot to do with how I know that I'm tasting it because of how little sugar I ingest. Uh, berries and vegetables and what else is really sweet that kind of surprised me when I realized it? Uh, steamed cauliflower is so sweet uh, particularly after you know you steam it I like it warm but even if it's cold it's uh, it's really amazing it tastes so different again the organic does make a difference in the flavor um, that's another thing that you notice when your taste buds have changed um, is you notice the absolute difference in flavor um, between an organic and a, and a non-organic fruit or vegetable um, not all of them, but you know, definitely the, you know, the, uh, the dirty dozen. You will definitely notice the difference in those things. Um, and truly sweet things that, you know, desserts or whatever, things that you used to enjoy and crave and they were just right. You'll take a bite of them after you've been away from sugar for a while and it will feel like it's going to blow your head off. It is so sweet. It is intolerable how sweet uh, stuff becomes makes it a lot easier to stay away from it too but it takes a tremendous amount of willpower in this day and age to resist that motherfucking sugar just <laughs> stay away from it try oh I don't know I'm not gonna go anymore into that rant that is way too much of a, a long rant and there are so many good resources that can say it so much better than I so uh, yeah I'll probably post something in the notes that about that. We just found a recent documentary about it that was very good. Much better than I could ever do. I'm gonna have my smoothie.